Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. I am kind of mad at you guys. I feel like you've let me down because I'm fishing with a bait that at one time was one of my favorites and was discontinued and apparently is back and nobody told me. I don't know when it came back out, but <clears throat> I was just looking around on Tackle Warehouse the other day and came across it. And this bait is one that I actually, the biggest smallmouth I've ever caught on this river that I'm fishing right now was caught on this bait. So I obviously bought too many because that's what I do. Can't just buy one, you gotta buy two and they come in a lot of different good colors. So you gotta buy a couple of each color. Next thing you know, you got $100 worth of baits in your cart. That's how it goes. So I just got these in the mail. I'm tinkering with them to see if they feel the same, if they look the same. And as of right now, they sure appear to be pretty much the same. It's a little bit of a different uh, skirt on it. Maybe a little bit of a different head design. I actually don't have any more of these. I had a stockpile for a while, but they've been discontinued for quite some time. And because they've been discontinued, I've gone through my stockpile and probably have not had one for three years. So I'm not positive if the head design is different. I think it's a hair different, like maybe they use just a slightly different mold. I could be wrong, and maybe some of you out there could, uh, could break it down for me and let me know, because I know a lot of you are diehards when it comes to this bait. This is the Gambler Ninja Spin. And it's unique in a spinnerbait term because it has three sickle-shaped blades that uh, give it a completely different appearance, a different feel. The blades, because they're smaller and sickle-shaped, the bait, the bait feels like it's got more thump to me than other spinnerbaits but less pull because the blades are so much smaller. You, you, you get the same vibration, but you don't get the same rising bait because the blades are so much smaller. It's like throwing a inline spinner where the, the bait can run deeper and it just doesn't want to rise as much as a normal traditional spinner bait that has blades that are that much bigger that just lift that bait up to the surface. So it's a, you know, it's a very clean running bait the blades, because they are smaller, run very easily. They they start immediately. It's not like you got to kick them to get them running. Uh, it's just a bait that on lakes that get a lot of spinnerbait pressure, it seems to really shine. So if you're fishing grass lakes or, you know, like a Cumberland, this is this is where I actually used my last ones up was over on uh, Lake Cumberland a few years ago because it's got a big following over by Lake Cumberland. The whole key here is it's just a different, it's a different sounding, different vibrating spinnerbait than the traditional spinnerbaits. And there's a reason it was brought back. I mean, keep in mind, this bait was out there. It had a very hardcore following from a bunch of diehard spinnerbait guys, and then it disappeared. But because the demand has been there, they've brought it back. I mean, these stupid things were going for like 25, 30 bucks a pop on eBay which is really unheard of for a spinner bait that's been discontinued. That just shows how much of a demand that there's been for it. So everything I can tell, the bait runs just fine. You know, the blades all run good. We'll see if you can show it. You know, I'm, we've got 48 degree water temps right now. And I'm, you know, this is only four inches of water maybe. So the bait can't even run right. It's rolling on its side, but Hopefully you can just see how those smaller blades create more of that chopping. I mean, the bottom's dragging on the bottom, so it's turning over on its side. But you can see how those blades just produce additional flash, a smaller flash. It's, it almost gives that appearance of smaller bait fish, which can be a good thing in the fall. Uh, that's what I caught. I mean, the biggest smallmouth I've caught out here, like I said, it was just shy of 22 inches and it was caught I want to say the first week in November. So, you know, it's still a bait that shines in the cold weather period when the fish are keying in on those bait fish. But if you're on a body of water where you fish a spinnerbait and a spinnerbait gets fished a lot, 
and you haven't tried the Gambler Ninja Spin, here's the package. It is different packaging now. It used to be a hard shell. But the Gambler Ninja Spin, I'll put the link in the video description so you can check them out. But I highly recommend giving this a try on the lakes that you already like to fish a spinnerbait. And if they're heavily pressured with a spinnerbait, I'm sure you can separate yourself from a lot of those other people because this bait really is an entirely different spinnerbait. It's not really a, a traditional spinnerbait in its own right. And I'm excited to have it back. I have no idea when it came back. That's the part I'm frustrated with. For all I know, it's been out for two years and I've just missed out on it, but not anymore. I got them in stock. So I'm gonna let you guys go. Thanks for tuning in. Just figured I'd share one of my old baits that I really like that I'm happy to have back in the basement bait shop with me. So thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned. We'll have a new video coming out tomorrow.